Rotter Studios, recording studio and video editing with Steve Rotter. For the sake of this tutorial, it doesn't matter if you use a Mac or Windows, all right? I'm using Final Cut Pro. I do most of my editing, if not all now, in Final Cut Pro. But again, for this tutorial, it doesn't matter what you use. This is not a Final Cut Pro tutorial on how to use Final Cut Pro. This is just how I edit. This is all the movie clips that I've imported, right? I've got stock footage of a cassette player. This window here is what you're viewing. This is where your final product is going to be. This is where you're looking to see what your final is going to look like. So these are all the clips available to you that you're going to drag and drop in your timeline down here. The order that you drag them is the order they're going to appear in your movie. So if you wanted a picture of this fish, you would click on it, drag it below, drop it. If you wanted a picture of this guitar pick, you'd click on it, drag it and drop it. If you changed your mind, oh, I want the guitar pick first, no problem. You, you just highlight this, take it, move it in the front. It automatically moves the fish to be the second clip. Now when you click play, see it's playing in the timeline, there's the fish. This red line will move in time, so you press you click play or the space bar, it's going to move. See the red line moves and the seconds right here are counting so you know exactly where you're at. Let's say you need that guitar pick to be exactly five seconds. So you just highlight this, drag it back, four minutes, 59, and five. Release it. Now it's exactly five seconds. Cut. See? Now it goes exactly. You can go by, back by the frame by hitting the left arrow key. And it counts back. Five, 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 oh one, five, bam, four fifty nine, five. So if someone said, I need that fish to be at five seconds, there you go. What we're going to do is bring in something a little more exciting. Okay, we're gonna make this interesting. And that's what I mean by interesting. If you're a girl, I'm sorry. I could edit hay bales and cows, but you know, this is better, I think. There she is. And there she is again. So what do you think you want to start out with? Let's start out with this. But first, let's give it a cool title. Let's just do like this. Let's just do something. Let's just use this one, OK? Then when it's highlighted, you can just go here, double click on the title. What should we call it? Um, techno dance, babe. Dance, babe. OK, fine. Now, if you want to make the title lo last longer again, you can drag it out. Look, it's going to, now it's 12 seconds. See, it's a 12 seconds and a one 12 seconds. Editing is about quickness. You don't want to spend too much time and bore people. How many videos have you been on where it's like, oh, all right, I get the point. The intro is too long. I love cool intros, but I don't care how great your intros are or how great of a graphics designer you are. Don't bore people. Since we want to time video clips of her to the music beats, then let's find music to use. All right, so we're going to drag it over here from uh, the downloads. Now I'm going to drop it right here on the bottom. The bottom is for audio. You can have multiple layers of audio. If you wanted to say add a sound effect, you can just drag another one and put it underneath where you want to time it and you can move it around however you want, okay? But I'm gonna highlight it. When it's highlighted in yellow, it means it's you're able to do something with it. In this case, we're going to hit delete, and it's gone. What I like about this is the when he counts down, but I'm gonna cut after that, because I don't wanna use the music right after he counts down. So we'll just use the countdown for the title. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Now that's kind of neat when that says, you crazy mother. But I don't want to use that, so this is a good thing to show you for editing. So I'm going to spread the timeline out because I need to dissect. I need to get in there really close because if it was close like this, very tiny, you can't do many edits. So I'm going to split it out. Here's the audio. You can see the higher the mountain is, if you will, that's the louder the music is. DB is how loud something is. So if you want to lower the audio, you just drag it down. 
down and bring the DB down. You make it really loud like that, see? But we're gonna, for most things, leave it at zero DB. So right when he says Otis, we're gonna get rid of that. Otis. So I think it's right there. Otis. Yeah. Otis. Otis. Yep. So right there, see? Isn't that cool? That's why I love editing. Okay, so that's where I want the incision, so I'm gonna make that wider. See? Look at that little gap. So we're gonna make a cut. Perfect. We're gonna get rid of that guy. Delete. Gone. Now, I could have kept him. There's nothing wrong with that, but I just like the counting and then, boom, the music starts. That's just me. So now there's this empty space. Oh no. So we're gonna drag this over right to when he stops counting. And I don't like where that bass comes up. It starts on an off beat. So this is where you have to be a little bit of a, I mean, you don't have to be, but it helps if you're a musician. If you, even if you just like music and, and you can hear the beats in your head, if it sounds wrong to you, it is. So then it's your job as an editor to fix it. <clears throat> I don't like how it comes in on an off beat. The sacred stone. So it goes, the sacred stone. The sacred stone. <laughs> Can you hear what I'm talking about? I want to have the sacred stone. Da -dun -dun -da. Like a slight pause and then da -dun -dun -da. and I, I'm not hearing that. Listen. The sacred stone. Cut. Bring it back to the pointer. Highlight. Gone. See? Perfect. Drag it over. The sacred stone. The sacred stone. It would fit, but that laughter ruins it. So we gotta get rid of the laughter now. The sacred stone. Ba boom boom ba. The sacred stone. Perfect. Four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Perfect audio file. Look where it dips, right here. That's usually gonna be the next beat. So that's usually gonna be where your next clip will go, right? Watch this. See? If you think you're on a clip of her for too long, maybe you are. It's always good to tease the audience and jump to the next clip. Don't ever stay on a clip too long. Don't ever think, wow, I really like this and everybody will too. Like if we just kept it for, you know, 20 seconds, it's too long. Watch this. Now I know you can watch her all day long. However, you don't want it to be boring. Now, by keeping this clip here this long, I see that she matches the beat of the music coincidentally. Watch this. Close enough, looks really good and sexy. So what we're gonna do is keep this right like this and this is gonna be our control video track, which means it's gonna be our foundation. So instead of cutting and chopping and cutting and chopping different video clips, we're gonna leave this one as the base, and we're just gonna simply add other video clips on top of this one to cut away to. So this will be a good way to show you guys what I was talking about earlier by having layers of video. The one on the top is gonna to be the one that's visible to you, and I'll show you what I mean.
Now, since she gives a sexy look and she slows down, that's a great way to cut the video and fade to black, all right? And we're gonna fade the music out at the end. I let the music dictate to me how I'm gonna edit, okay? Um, it's a combination of the video clip and the music, but if the music gets slow, I don't like to have fast-paced action unless you're going for some contrast, okay? If she dances slower, I want to use that in a slower part of the song. If the music gets really fast, I might want to cut to um, obviously some clips of her dancing quicker or maybe giving a wink at the, uh, at the camera, you know, stuff like that. So I let the music dictate to me how I edit. So let's look at this from the beginning. Stone. And it, as soon as you hear the beat, bam, there she is, which is awesome. Sacred Stone. Now we could throw it, go to your dissolves. We could choose a cross dissolve, which it's the only one I use, a cut or a dissolve. We could just drop it here, bam. Watch this. Do you guys like that? I mean, it looks kind of cool, but I think I'd rather have it, bam, there she is. It, it all depends on the feel that you're going for. That kind of works. I don't know. We'll go to edit, undo, gone. I think I like that more. Now watch what we do. I'm gonna time it so right before you think it's gonna go longer, it's gonna cut to the next clip of her. I think I wanna cut it right there before, right as her arm goes up. I'm not gonna show the arm. So right there is the next beat. That's where the next clip is going to go. The sacred stone. So you stop it. You can hear it. So you stop it right before that beat. Stretch it out. The white line stays there as your marker. So let's go to this clip. That's sexy. We'll use... Uh, that's really good. We'll use that. Take it, drag it on top, right to the white line, bam, that's where we want it. Now, it doesn't have to stay that way. We can we can chop this up and choose the best look for that clip. But I just wanna see if it matches in timing right now. That's cool, but she's looking down. See, it's not too exciting. I like this when she's looking sexier at the camera. Like right there, so we'll drag it over. See, we can see both of them now. She looks up, looks up. Nice.